there is something wrong. Mm -hmm. Yes. In the whole trip, there was something wrong. In the whole trip of the first lady? Yes. There is something wrong. Adali, let me some dollars. Let me show you. These are some of the dollars. Wow. wow. Yeah? Some of the dollars. Yo, yo, what's up, guys? How are you doing? I go by the name Vincent Mboya, the entertainment critic officer. Na kama kawaida chelitu na nambara mwje kuburudani chelitu na nambara mwje kumbea na ingino kletaga mchezo mchezo wa kletaga mzamza tunawopoteze ya. How's your banner? So guys, it's a very beautiful episode. Nyinyi ndo mulkomu na nambia apostol at least, at least akuwa na kuja hata kama ni thrice per week. Every week mlamleta mara tatu. Last week nilimleta, aa, Ni mmetele wiki ngini, last week tukakua na Eriko Mundi Eh, mulikuwa Tukakua na Eriko Mundi Kwa nini mulikuwa muna tuangu kwa barabara? Si, mimi nimetua Umezema mulikuwa kwa Eriko Mundi Tulikuwa kwa Eriko Mundi kama mtangazaji nilikuwa pa Kwa nini kwa nini tunatua, ni kama uliwemisi kutuangu Anyway, anyway, anajaribu Na mulijaribu Lakini Anajaribu wa malifanya wewe Alijaribu uh, the only bad thing, the only unfortunate thing, uh, is a siasa, siasa zamna namna hiyo, imekuwa vataken by time. Those are days wakati wa moi era, wakati kwa tunafanya hivu, wakati wa angari madhai. Uh, nowadays, uh, you cannot be able to do mass action, ama kufanya vitu vikubwa, kama vile wanataka kufanya, because um, watu wa mesoma, number one, what we are busy, number three, economy is really not working for us. So finding time to kwenda kudukaduko kwa barabara itakuwa. Lakini, 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 lakini kupata hizo polls. Unadhani ni mchezo? Sikatai, sikatai, it's, it's, it's good. Whatever he's doing is good, but um, in the wrong season. You know the Bible says there is time for everything. There is there's time for uh, kuna wakati wa usiku na wakati wa mchana. There is time for everything. And the... Uh, the timing was wrong, but the idea is the best. Mm -hmm. Only it came in the wrong time. Uh, we need to we need to wait a bit because the the what we the government is not doing this. The government hijapatiana kazi. The government hijafanya i. Mutu mnyana reason ata kumbia situ apatia muda tu kidogo. Umeona? So, it, kama tungefanya, ingekuwa ikitu inafanyika August, September na uko, uh, one year, then uh, that will be, make some sense. Right now, there is no sense at all. There is no sense. So, you don't support Eric Omoni? Uh, the idea he has is very good. It's only, I don't support him in the timing. But the idea is the best because we need such people in the society. We need people who will make voices. Uh, we need people who will make some noise somewhere, constructive noises. And we need people that will be able to, uh, to stand on, uh, on behalf of others. Because not all, not all can be able to do what he's doing. What I don't support in him, it is his timing. It is wrong. It didn't work for him. And it will not work even for either any person. Because it is illogical. It is like you got, you got married. Mwaka hata ijaisha. Love was as you are kukwambia. Mbona bibi ya japata bol. Umeona, it does not make sense. Yeah, because you have to wait for the fruits. Lazima mulimalime. This government is being organized. I'm not supporting it. I per se as in. At the meaning of your government, um, um, I, I would want us all of us to have a level headed because the interest we have is to make uh, our Kenya a better nation. And um, the good thing again, we have a government, it might not be good to, to many people, but uh, at the look of it, the two tribes, Ambazo ni antagonist tribes, uh, this time around, they didn't perform 100%. Meaning the tribal factor, it is not working anymore. Kikuyus, uh, as we are known as Kikuyus, we never behaved like Kikuyus. Luos, again, as you are known as Luos, you never behaved like Luos, stone, throwing stones, burning houses, and all those men of the and Kikuyu being those typical Kikuyu. Eh, jabayani, eh, nyombayito. It didn't, it was not there. Meaning we are slowly, slowly maturing as a country. That at, uh, next time, Boya, you can be a president. 
and I'll not look at your tribe. I'll not look at I'll look at your brain. A nation where we'll be electing people because of the brains they have. Okay. Looking at the brain. Like um, I was watching another another um, another video about Singapore. Singapore, Malaysia. Is it Singapore, Malaysia? It's Malaysia. Malaysia, uh, there is no stupidity of that tribalism, that person that comes from our village, that person that comes from whatever whatever reason uh, that uh, this might be. No, Singapore, they went for excellent. If it is education, the president, the president himself, are products of Harvard University, people who are well educated, not sons of kings who are taken there and they're forced to, uh, to go to school and then they buy them. Kenya, you, uh, we have our people here in Kenya who have certificates with which they, they, they have not worked for. They have not worked for. They are not, they have not schooled. Maybe they were in school, but they were as, uh, escorting others in school. But in a country like Singapore, it went for the best brains without uh, having a line, this is my tribe, this is my clan, this is what. They went for the brains. And that is where we are headed to. And uh, you as a blogger and many of us, we, the influential people in the society, let's push for that idea that let's go for the brain. Not for the individual. So, sir, now when you next week to Nigeria State House, at a see next week, you wiki. Nigeria State House. What on a same to the State House, but to turn the India up or State House to 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 ambe route or to skize. Nivizuri. You do think we will route to give us an ear to get up or State House? Uh, let me tell you. What Raida uh, on the other group? Let me not mention. Let me say about him. What the people don't understand about Ruto, Ruto is a shrewd politician. Ruto is not Uhuru. Ruto is not Moi. Ruto is not uh, Kibaki. He's a very shrewd politician. And a politician who knows his timings. A politician who understands the seasons. A politician who is also backed by a woman who believes in altars. You understand me? So, this is somebody who is lethal. He may play around like I'm weak, but at the end of the day, they will be escorted by the police. They will be given security by police. Nobody will harass them. They will be escorted until up to State House party. What I was escorted to Vizuri, but I had any money. It was at our pre empty. He will not do what they want because they would want to provoke. You are to show tear gas, you are breaking news. But I want to assure you, and I want to tell you this, it won't work. So if people want to kill a status, it won't, it won't, it won't, harassment, no, no. This guy, this guy is very smart. And again, we have a police commander who is even smarter than Uruto himself. This, um, Kome, that, that man is sharp here. He knows how to handle these things. I told you one day, and I was in Mungiki, what he did to me. He didn't, he's, he told his police, go away. Huh? And he came without a gun, he came without anything. And those are the days that I will just fight you just for, from nothing. And he came and I, he made sure that I've knelt down. Eh? Because I found I was stupid. Without a gun, without being a police officer, he came just as a, as a raya. And we discussed, he told, he told me, he asked me about seven questions. Did he answer Korea? That's a very dangerous person. Come. Come. I love that man. I'm, I'm, yet, I'm, I'm looking forward to have an appointment with him. Uh, I haven't, I haven't uh, made a Sijafanya uh, effort, but I, I'm sure in the course of this month, the new month that is coming, I'll make sure I meet him because I love that man. You love Kome. I love him. And 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 uh uh Iwiki Iwiki Kumekona Mobo Mengi San Apostol. Uh Bado Iwiki Kenya has been blessed. Uh the first lady of the United States of America. Don't useke quotes you see, you see? <laughs> because she's the first yeah, lady. Yes. Oh see okay, it has been blessed because yes, yes. we have a uh, because how many countries like agenda to Tanzania, agenda Uganda, uh, amekuja Kenya. Amekuja Kenya to do what in Kenya? Now, uh, honestly, 
I saw yeah. amefungua miradi. Miradi gani? Alikuwa kule upande wa was it not nini? We need the president himself if at all ni, ni miradi tunataka. We don't need miradi. But the first lady kama president ako busy. No. Sana tuma tu bibi yake. Si Obama alikuja, Obama hakuwa busy. Obama ataliwacha bibi. <laughs> Obama left the wife. He didn't come with the wife to Kenya because he knew Kenya is a holy land. Uh-huh. Yes. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh-huh. So what is this? Uh-huh. Me the I don't want to speculate. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I don't want to speculate. Uh-huh. I don't want to say it in a different way. Uh, I don't want to be to uh, be over spiritual. What I want to say, mm-hmm. I don't want to be over spiritual. Yeah. But the one thing I want to say, what was the coincidence between the judge, the ruling of the Supreme Court over the L- LGBTQ and her coming? What a coincident. You know, that family, they are the people who really advocate for this. They are the people who really are for this. The Democrats are people for LGBTQ. Yeah, they are for it and they practice it to some extent. Bro, because I end that. So they are the people who have been practicing and they, they are for it. So I'm left not to argue about it. So you want to say that uh, the coming of the first lady of the United States of America mm. has uh, image chair, ama it has it no, has geared you know, up this thing has the past of uh, competition, the yeah. passing of the LGBTQ in Kenya. This thing has been a thorn in the flesh. You remember the first question, the the the, the interviewer of the, the president. The BBC interviewer, it was BBC or CNN. Um, the first interview, the first question was, Do you support this? Uh, he asked to the Ruto. Who, who was coming to become the president? He was, Do you support this? When the president of Malawi was being interviewed as he was getting into power, he was asked the same question, Do you support this? When the president of Zambia became the president, the first question they asked, Do you support this? When uh, Tishakedi of uh, DRC, uh, when he was uh, being interviewed, they asked him, do you support this? Why is this question so much of interest to them? See, it's something that equal, like it's something that is there already in the world. It's like Corona. So are you like- I, I leave it to the owners. And the owners, they know themselves. Because uh, even uh, in that Supreme Court, they are um, they are staunch supporters of that thing. And this thing has been so rampant in churches, in the society, in Kiambu, people, young people are paid 30,000 shillings mm-hmm. to be slept with. Young men. They are paid 30,000 shillings to be slept with. Behind. Yes. With a kavasirin. <laughs> so... <laughs> It's so scary. Uh-huh. It's so scary. Uh-huh. But yeah, this this is not a laughing matter. <laughs> yeah, well. uh-huh. this is not a laughing matter. It's not a laughing matter, but the, the way you are addressing it, it looks so funny. Yes, uh-huh. because it's so scary. I yesterday in my church, I had a one boy who from Kiambu, and he, he ran. He came on Saturday evening. Uh, asked him, and he was asked, "What do you want?" I want. He said, "I want to sleep in the church." Why? No, I, I only want to see the pastor. If he's not around, I will sleep here until he comes and I'm not going anywhere. The boy said so. The boy said so. Then uh, I, I was not there. I came the following day, in, on Sunday. And uh, the boy comes to me and tells me, I want you to help me. Uh, from what? Uh, this is what happened to me. I was molested by people who gave me 30000 and I thought they were told they were going to give me 30000 because there is a business uh, for me to start a, a business. And once I was given, then I was given a drink and uh, a Jewish like. And from then I found myself having been slept with by a man from my beside. And this has been, been repeated four times. That is why I want to, if I'm dying, 
I want to die in the church, not outside there. And ask me, has this been happening? Yes, it's happening to so many people. All this Boda, like you go to get the right. The Boda riders are being harassed. The Boda riders, they are facing it rough. You carry somebody, he tells you, I'm going to pay you. We can fix your kwanyuba and kulipa. Then you go, brother, come. Kuja kwanyuba ni kupati ya pesa. Unaaja boda, unapanda huko. That's the end of you. Tatoka huko wa subui. Kama umefanyua chakula, umekuliwa na mbuta. <laughs> so, ata ujihadhali. Ukiita hito na watu waba waba hivi ujihadhali sana. So, ngoja, apostle, <laughs> apostle, let me ask. <laughs> So you, you uh, so uh, the coming of the first lady of the United States has imechangia uh, the LGBTQ to pass in Kenya. Ama sabuna ona mekuja kwa miradi za zengine za maana sana. Asijia mimi si pinki. Chochote kilimulete hapa kilimulete. I don't care whatever brought her. But what I'm just because I knew this way East Western governments, uh, they, when they want to coerce a president or to make a president fit into their platform, into their uh, agenda, they will come to you, and they, before they give you what you want, they will tell you, "E Peter Kwanza." Those days of IMF and World Bank, they, before they give you money, they will tell you, "Go and retrench people, go and do this." Go and do this. Go and do this. So um, people are speculating. Mm -hmm. And I'm also part of the people who are speculating. Mm -hmm. I hope somebody will tell us the truth. Because the truth is so limited when it's coming to us. Mm -hmm. May I say this? There is something wrong. Mm -hmm. Yes. In the whole trip, there was something wrong. In the whole trip of the first lady. Yes. There's something wrong. Which I don't. So leave alone what we've seen with cameras. Easily the camera. So Easily something. Wrong. There's something wrong. But unless she, she came to prepare the ground for the coming of the husband, there's something amiss. So the, the husband yes. might come. Yes. Deeper into it, I'm doing my research. The next interview I'll give you, I'll give you details of what happened. I'll give you. So the husband might come. Could be the husband is on the way. They can say, oh, my husband, I'm checking the ground for my husband. Okay. But the husband, uh, is, will he come? I don't think. The husband, so they, they were already a man. Asha Maliza Kazi. Kazi me Malizika ya Kenya. It is over for Kenya. Come on, Ruto, and I expect that respect your president of America. Rabu Daya and Uko. But, but also kuna wakati wa Trump bibi yake alikuja pia kama hadi huko alikuja pamoja Trump akuja Kenya alikuja tu alikuja ndio nakwambia so it is over for Kenya that is why the, Trump didn't come the only president who came to Kenya it's Obama I know Obama and another president hey. Clinton Clinton, yeah. Clinton was in Tanzania oh, is it Clinton who is it is Clinton who came to Tanzania Arusha Something to do that. And there, there was another president that came to Kenya. And Obama now. I know the only president. I know it's Obama who came. Okay. And then now in Guinea. Uh, you know but but the, he went when he was going back to Egypt. The wife was in Egypt. Why? <laughs> you see, there is something that is not working. So the, the wife, Alenda Kamgoje in Egypt. Yeah, like he was in Egypt. Sile alirara state house yake wakikula wakikula nini wakikula mera huko state house na uhuru na uhuru okay okay eh wow 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 eh tuende hiyo nyingine sawa so apostle um before before to tuende sana uh, i want to tell people that uh dubai it is already confirmed eh yeah, dubai is already confirmed and Dubai, we are going. It's a. Uh, let me. Let me post and take and take a poster on screen. Yeah, 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 yeah. And take a poster on screen. Confirmed on 10th and 11th and the 12th of mm -hmm. March. We will be there with Vincent Boyer, the one and the only, uh -huh. the entertain of en entertain the entertainment critic ah, officer. Entertainment critical. That's critical. Uh, critic. Oh, critic officer. Uh huh. Critical, it's uh, no critic. C S. 
<laughs> let me let me introduce myself. <laughs> so uh, a post told Ndura Warwingi will be accompanied <laughs> by I Vincent Mboya E C G H E O D P M P C S Sijuagi kwa nini waga kuna waga na majina mengi before touch si ujalu si ujalu No 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 why are you going to come up with a CG. Is it my titles? Yes, ECG. ECG. End of uh, burning. Is uh, that just burning word? CG head. CG commander of yeah. what? Of entertainment. Yes. Kenya. The officer, the one and the only. Tutakuwa tutakuja. We'll be coming in Dubai by the sister Margaret. Ako kule Dubai. 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 So people should prepare. To yeah. should start preparing. Yeah. Do you know the reason we are going there? No, 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 no. Um, um, we are going to reclaim them. Mm -hmm. These people have been suffering, and uh, today, coincidentally, there is one lady that came from Saudi Arabia. She has been in Saudi Arabia for eight good years, and she never found money to come back. And she called me, told me, "Just, I want you to pray for me," and I prayed with her. And she's here. She, the, the boss that had employed her for the last eight years never paid her. She was detained and she was working. When we prayed together with the lady, she was paid all the eight years' money. Wow. Let me show you. These are some of the dollars. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Some of the dollars. No, 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 to say thank you okay. because she has been in slavery for eight good years. Wow. The good thing, she came with everything, her money, herself, a healthy woman, and she came buying a car, buying land and everything. She's now comfortable and she, I will be blessing her land. Uh, tomorrow we'll be going to the land that she bought. We're going to bless it. And that is the main reason I am going to Dubai. I'm going to Dubai. After Dubai, I'll be able to penetrate through Qatar. I'll be able to go to, to Saudi Arabia if possible, if God, if God allows. But the, our main stage, first stage, will be in Dubai. And there we will, as we step there, we will step on the ground there and speak to the soil of that land. Feed the street kids because That's Dubai... I'll be going, I'll be feeding the street kids in Dubai. I'll be I'll be talking to the street tree lights, whatever koinange yauko. I'll be talking to the our young girls. There's so many our girls that went there. They got lost there. So many young men and old men that are in Dubai. There's so many business people that they have been tried. They have tried to do business in Dubai, but nothing's working. That is my main reason of going there to break the chains. To speak, no, the Bible says, uh, the, uh, the, the Bible says in the book of Jeremiah 1, verse 10, that uh, see today I have set you against over nations and kingdom to overthrow, to bring down, to tear down, to destroy, to burn, and then to what? To build, to lift and build. So, our main reason of going to Dubai it is to speak to the soil and tell the soil we have people from other nations that have been slaves here, set them free. Because the founders of Dubai, they, lay, they laid a, 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 a foundation, an altar there, that they made it to make anybody that are coming there becomes a slave. So we are going to speak for the soil, to speak for those altars, to, the, to those altars, that this is the time to set our people free. That is what Moses was told to go and do. Set my people free. That is it. That is it. Once I'm step, 
kukanyaga tu set the people of God free and they will be free then we'll be back so we're going to set but, um, the people free hopefully God willing we'll be there two days early we'll be meeting people one on one praying with them telling them uh, more about God what God wants for them to do then from there we'll do the service uh, on 10th on the 11th and the 12th so we are you are all invited there and it will be amazing what God what God was revealing I was in prayers for seven days and what God revealed what God revealed to me about Dubai Dubai Qatar and all these nations Arabic nations, Arabic nations that they will become a friend of Kenya to make Kenya become better. And anybody from Kenya, anybody from Kenya, anybody from Africa, anybody from anywhere, the blessings of that land they will get. That is once we go, we set free, we break the chains, everything will work. Everything will be different. Oh, I'm telling you, you'll see it by your own eyes. The angels from heaven will descend there. So Kenyans who are in Dubai kindly expect us and kindly spread the news and and also come on attack your post or you want the full details number we keep of your post on Dura Warwinge kindly also contact him at akupatie the full details yeah we will we will we will be sending you the full details we will be there we will speak to you we will bless you and i know god will set you free okay yes